Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Keller for Productive Computing. In today's video I will demonstrate how to connect Claris FileMaker Pro to Freshdesk Ticket Helper using an API. Let's get started. I'm going to start out talking about Freshdesk. If you're here watching this video, you may already know what FileMaker is, but you may have never heard of Freshdesk. It is a customer service oriented ticketing agent. It allows your clients to submit tickets, to let, uh, submit messages, you know, even emails and phone calls. And what I mean by this, if we can go to my dashboard right here, this is all the tickets I have that are open right now. A lot of these are just test tickets for this video. As you can see, I've made a client, Jeff Keller. This is the company that he works for, PCI Development Record. Fake client, fake company. This over here shows you the last time that an agent responded to this ticket. So it actually keeps a timer on it. And then you have due in a day. So I really need to get on these. Um, you can change the due dates. You can even change the priority of the ticket. If a customer submits something low, it gives you a couple, you know, about a week to finish it. If it's urgent, it'll change it. It's already overdue. You can also change agents over here. You can change the groups. Freshdesk offers a variety of things that you can do, but you may ask yourself, if Freshdesk is so great, why would I want to, you know, connect to FileMaker? Well, my answer to that is I spend most of my day in FileMaker. But throughout the day, I have to keep coming back to Freshdesk. I have to keep refreshing. I have to keep an eye out if a client has responded to a ticket or submitted another ticket or submitted another message. And it would be great to have everything in one place that I didn't have to constantly, you know, send multiple messages on Freshdesk or Outlook or Gmail, that everything could be right there in FileMaker and I wouldn't have to constantly worry about going back and forth. So that would help me stay organized, it would keep everything together, and it would save me time in the long run. And with that being said, let's go ahead and check out that FileMaker demo. You can find this demo at ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. Not only will this demo be there, but other courses pertaining to APIs and FileMaker. So if you're uh, new to APIs, there are courses there that will help you out with that, or if you're looking to get better at FileMaker, in general, there are courses there for that as well. So this is the API demo. I will go with, over with you every field and the tabs and all and what the buttons do. And at the end of it, I will go over the scripting so you uh, understand what's going on underneath the hood. But for now, let's go ahead and get started and make a record here. So we go up to new record and it pre-populates agents in the resource. The resource is the information you were pulling from Freshdesk. If you were wanting a different resource or to look up the API documentation for Freshdesk, you can click that button right there and it will take you here. This is very extensive. I will not go over this in this video as it's out of the scope, but it is a worthwhile read to understand the back end of what Freshdesk is doing. But for now, we will go back to the demo. And so what we need first is the API key. And to get the API key, we're going to go back to Freshdesk. And this is my dashboard that we saw earlier. And over here on the right-hand side is a J and a square. That's your profile. So you're going to click on that. You're going to click on Profile Settings. And it'll load this page up right here. If you look over to the right, you will see View API Key over here. Click on that. Sometimes it'll ask you if you're a robot. In this case, it does. I am not a robot. And it'll display the API key right here. Everyone has their own unique API key. You can also request to reset this API key. After this video, I will be resetting that key. So we're going to copy. We're going to go back to our demo. And we're going to paste. It's going to dot it out for security reasons right there. So don't be alarmed by that. And the next thing we need is the Freshdesk domain. And we're going to fill that out here in this field. So we're going to go back to Freshdesk. And if you look at the top here, it'll say productivecomputing.freshdesk.com. And we're going to get that right there. Make sure you have the HTTPS included in it. It usually will pick it up when you select all there. So we're going to copy, go back to our demo. 
go to the Fresh Test Domain field. We're going to paste and we're going to click out. And when we click out, Fresh Desk endpoint is going to pre-populate and final URL is going to show up as well. So we're going to click out and right there it is. There's the endpoint. There's the final URL, agent slash me, looking for Jeff Keller. Now, if everything works right, when I go to click this current agent button, it should fill out the rest of this down here. And then you'll see the results over here on the right, which is the payload. We're going to click that. Ah, look at that. I'm Jeffrey Keller. There's my ID, there's my email, there's my time zone. And over here on the right is all the information that the API pulls. I won't go over this either. This is out of the scope of the video here, but you, as you can see, it's uh, pretty extensive right there. Now that I have my current agent, now that it's pulled me, when I click on tickets, it should show my open tickets. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. There's some open tickets right there. It'll show you the created date. It'll show you the company who submitted it, the subject, the ticket number, and the status, and when it's due by. So I got a few days. I got one day on these, so I better get on that. And if you want to change uh, your filters, you can. You can select watching and get tickets. I'm not watching any tickets. I shouldn't have any spam tickets, and I shouldn't have any deleted tickets. I do not. So we'll go back to new and open right there. Now, as you can see, we got all that, and you may be wondering, how does all this work? So we're going to go up here to scripts. We're going to go to script workspace, and we're just looking at two scripts here. Over here on the left, get current agent, get current tickets. That's it. It's just these two. So we're going to click on agent first. It starts off with a comment, and then it's going to look for empty fields. And if something is empty, it's going to show you the custom dialog of one or more required fields are empty. So all fields need to be filled. And when that's done, it's going to set the fields and set the variables and insert the URL that we brought in. And it's going to look for more errors right here. And it's going to look for the agent results. And then after that, all that's committed, then it's going to parse the information and send it back to Freshdesk. So that's get current agent script right there. Then we'll check get current tickets, which is very similar. It's going to look for the er errors and look for emptiness. One or more fields are empty. It's going to show you that custom dialog there. It's going to look for the URLs, look for more errors. It's going to set fields, check for errors, and pull all that information from the agent. If you still feel overwhelmed by this and you need help integrating this into your system, we have a custom development team that can assist you with a variety of development projects. In addition, we have a monthly maintenance support program here at Productive Computing for small development projects that take less than two hours to complete. Or if you're new to APIs and you just want to learn more, Productive Computing University has a number of courses that can help you understand API fundamentals and FileMaker. This is where I learned um, how to communicate with APIs and FileMaker myself. Here's a few courses right here. Also, if you're just looking for more courses about FileMaker in general, Productive Computing University has those as well. So if you like this course and you want to check out other courses, please uh, stop by Productive Computing University at ProductiveComputingUniversity.com. Thank you for watching, and my name is Jeff Keller.